You go to the gym, right? When you go to the gym, what do you do? You challenge yourself, right? The weight's getting a little heavy on your back. But what do you do? If you pick up a barbell, if a coach says, hey, throw some extra plates on there, and you go to unrack the bar, and you, and you get ready to squat, what are you going to do? You're going to whine and cry and feel bad about yourself because, oh, I've never done this weight before. I've never lifted this before. It feels very heavy on my back. Or you're going to say, fuck it. Ah! And then lift it. Right? Lift that shit. Lift that shit or die trying. And it's the same thing in life, bro. Lift that shit or die trying. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, how do you deal with constant setbacks? For the last few years, I've been trying my best to get things going, and I've had some pretty good success. But unfortunately, the last two weeks, I've been sick with a cold, and stress levels at work have dramatically increased. As a result, I missed a meeting with a client yesterday, and now I'm facing a disciplinary hearing, as they call it. Not sure what to do, as I love my job, I love the grind, I just had a bad day, and worried I'll pay a hefty price for it. Well, it seems like you're, you, you're, you're kind of painting life with the color of a current situation. So you're dealing with an acute issue, something that's here today and gone tomorrow, right? You have an, you, something happened at your job, you have to go do this disciplinary meeting, they're gonna chastise you, whatever the case may be, but then guess what, it's over. This too shall pass. This too shall pass is probably one of the most important phrases to remind yourself all day long as it relates to good things and bad. When things are good, when things are great, when everything's going your way, remember this too shall pass. It won't stay that way. One of the biggest problems that men have these days is we can become so attached to when things are nice, when things are easy, when things are pleasurable and we think that life is supposed to be that way no when things are that way be grateful but remember that shit will pass and the same is with these bad times right you get into these bad times and you start to think that oh no my life is over this is going to be the way it is and that is another form of attachment right really 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 reveling in the 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 misery right oh no oh poor me but if you remember this too shall pass before you know it, everything unfolds perfectly for you. And it always works out that way, man. Before you know it, you look back and you say, everything unfolded perfectly for me. Ask anybody who's been through tragedy. Ask anybody who's been through like a season of hardship. And you speak to them a couple years later and they look back with like starry eyes, nostalgia. Wow, man, those are some crazy days. Boy, but I wouldn't change it for the world, they'll say, right? they be like, wow, I really learned a lot about myself during that time. Wow, I'm happy I had that experience because it woke me up right now, right? So what I want you to understand is that you're going through a little bit of a challenge. You're having a little bit of, you're having a little bit of a, a like, you go to the gym, right? When you go to the gym, what do you do? You challenge yourself, right? The weight's getting a little heavy on your back. But what do you do if you pick up a barbell? If a coach says, hey, throw some extra plates on there and you go to unrack the bar and you, and you get ready to squat, what are you going to do? You're going to whine and cry and feel bad about yourself because oh, I've never done this weight before. I've never lifted this before. It feels very heavy on my back. Or you're going to say, fuck it. Ah! And then lift it. Right? Lift that shit. Lift that shit or die trying. And it's the same thing in life, bro. Lift that shit or die trying. You'll be all right. One thing I don't want you to do is to try to fix the problem before you're facing it. Because I know what it's like when you have to face, when, you're, when something is eminent, right? Like it's like you have a court date for some, some shit that you did and it's like a month away. So now you have a whole month of like, oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. But I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that. I want you to take each day, live it to its fullest, be fully present. And then when the time comes for you to face your consequences just face your consequences like a man that's another big thing bro that's another big thing that we as men need to begin doing and accepting a lot more which is facing our consequences i want to face my consequences i want to know that when i mess up that i'm going to get a whooping right i don't want to i don't want to consistently screw up and nothing happen right because then i get fat and pride in my sin i don't want to be fat and proud of my sin i want a correction i want to be corrected don't you want to be corrected, right? Most people's egos are so fragile, they don't want to be corrected. You did something wrong. You missed a meeting because you, you had a stuffy nose. You were being a pussy, and now you got to deal with it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's actually very, that's being accountable. That's being a man. 
hey, you missed a meeting with a client. That's pretty whack. That's pretty weak. That's pretty effeminate. You shouldn't have done that. But don't complain. Just face your pain, right? Don't complain. Face the pain. And listen, I've been in those situations too where I have to look back and I have to acknowledge, damn, I was dumb. Damn, I can't believe I did that shit. Damn, that was a really retarded thing to do. I got what I deserved. I have some, I have some things that have happened in my life that could have gone a lot better, but I made some bad decisions. And I look back and I realize, boy, I, I didn't come out of that on top. I didn't come out of that thing winning. And I could have, but I got what I deserved. You get what you deserve. There's perfect justice, right? There's perfect justice. So take your licking, right? Take your whooping, dust it off, and keep going again. If they, have a, if, if they wanna fire you because of this and you love your job, just suck it up, bite your lip, and move on. And in a couple of years' time, you're going to say, wow, that was the greatest experience that happened in my life. Good thing I quit that. They, they fired me from that job. Good thing they fired me from that job. Because look at my life now. I couldn't have had the life that I have now had I not been fired from that job. And listen, bro, as tough as things get, they always get brighter. As dark as it gets, the sun is about to rise. Don't wallow in the weakness and sorrow. It will pass. All this shall pass too. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.